Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy, a general collective energy reading for the weekend of Friday, September 20th through Sunday, September 22nd. So because this is a general collective reading, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that these readings are timeless, yes? So whenever you watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you at that time, okay? Um, yeah, it's Friday. Happy Friday. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend, yeah? Let's get into our pre-shuffle. Um, so the first card that came out, well, actually, let me say this. As I was channeling you know collecting the energy channeling before i started i was seeing green all right so today is another green day ha uh, green day um <laughs> um and i was feeling through that energy and there was a sense of ooh i'm hearing karma right now but at the time that i was channeling it um i was feeling you know there was heart chakra activation cleansing clearing happening going on some of you are working on or some of us are working on clearing out karma connected to love um connected into uh, connected to your heart chakra in some way um i wasn't i mean i personally wasn't aware that karma could get could be like specifically stuck or connected to one of your chakras um not to say that that absolutely couldn't happen i just wasn't aware that that was a thing but that's what i'm hearing um or feeling picking up on that you're clearing some sort of karma connected to your heart chakra now this also could be karma between counterparts okay um yeah that's i get it all right so for some of you for some of you this uh, mm, for some of you, this has to do with an individual specifically. Um, for others of you, this could just be in love in general. Um, it definitely could be family. Um, and whatever situation you could be clearing karmically with your family could be directly connected to some sort of karmic situation with a counterpart, a love interest, husband or wife, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, a romantic partner. Um, yeah. I'm seeing yellow now, which is your solar plexus, which is your willpower, which is the sun, which is illumination, um, uh, cleansing and clearing. I'm getting like a, a, a cleansing, illuminating vibe, which allows things to like, to like be burned away or something like that, you know, like under the, the light of the sun or something like that, like it's evaporating in some way. Okay, so getting into the pre-shuffle cards here, the first card that came out was the Nine of Wands. All right, so perseverance is key. Perseverance is needed here. It is necessary, all right? Um, I know for a lot of us, this has been a really long and arduous path. Whatever path you're on, it doesn't matter. It's been long and fucking tiresome. <laughs> and there is kind of an energy of just being like, look, I just don't want to fight anymore. I don't, I, I, like you're getting exhausted. You're kind of maybe even starting to wonder if it's even worth continuing, if it's even worth fighting for, but press on, okay? Um, now, the Nine of Wands came out first, and overall energy on the deck at that time was the King of Swords, which was in fact facing forward, like you could see his face, and it was Temperance, but it was the side of the card in which, um, I, I don't have it now, but it's the side of the card in which you see the angel from the back, so you see, yeah, you see the angel from the back, you see a lion and a bird, it looks like it's some sort of uh, eagle or hawk or something not really maybe not a hawk but like maybe it could could kind of look like an eagle um and then off in the distance in front of the angel um is the 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 uh setup where the hanged man would be hanging from only it's empty and that side of the card talks about not compromising your intelligence or your integrity or what it is you've learned, what it is you know, or who you are for the sake of, huh? I want, I just heard the word conformity. 
I wanted to say for the sake of balance. Um, but at that point, if you were compromising your integrity, which is represented by the, 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 the lion, and your intelligence or that which you've come to understand, which is represented by the bird on that card, I'm talking about temperance here, um, I almost want to search for it just so you guys can see it. We'll get there in a second. But if you were to compromise either your integrity or your intelligence or what you've learned, then you would in fact be conforming. Okay? Don't give in. Don't give up. Do not give up. Okay? King of Swords at that time on the uh, overall energy on the deck in which where he's facing us, that's very much a situation which is in which it's like, look, no. I know who I am, I know what I stand for, or I know what I know, I know what is mm, true. I wanted to, I was gonna say I know what is right, but there is really no such thing, in spiritual truth, there really is no such thing as right or wrong, okay? But I know what is true, at least for me as an individual, says the King of Swords. So don't give up, because I do persevere, because I do feel like some of, there's there's an energy here of, especially with this Nine of Wands, there's an energy of wondering if you should just give up, and no, don't, do not, comp don't, I wanted to say just now, do not ever compromise your vision, okay? So moving forward, I was like, okay, well, we have that, but there's more, so I kept shuffling, and eventually, this Three of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands came out, okay? Overall energy of the Three of Wands and the Six of Swords, okay? So overall energy, you are in fact on the right path. You are taking action in the right way. You are balancing, okay? Um, you, you're, you're tempered. All right, look, you see, there's this, the, the, the balance of that fire and water on that orb right there, right? Well, that you could see as temperance because in the temperance card, the angel is usually tempering fire and water, all right? And in this, in this card, um, this could be seen as the individual represented by the emperor. So like taking action, moving in the right direction, going, like being on your path, you're absolutely on your path, okay? You are, excuse me guys, I'm gonna cough. <clears throat> Excuse me, you are this loving queen of pentacles energy. Whatever it is that you've been through that has been such a hard situation, what I'm picking up on here is you got into this position where you found yourself in this situation because of your queen of pentacles uh, status, for the lack of, of a better term. Um, because you embody this nurturing, loving, caring, unconditionally loving um, in, like energy that wants to help, that wants to be there for people. And it feels like for some of you out there that may have gotten you in trouble with certain individuals, but that really isn't much of a reflection, much of a negative reflection on you because you were just there doing what it is you do best, trying to care for the people that you, that you care for, that, that you value and Okay, so maybe it blew up in your face. I mean, what I heard is that's more their problem than your problem. <laughs> okay, you are this torchbearer. You are a light. You are a beacon. I do see the Knight of Wands as a light worker card when he's not being a fuckboy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and here, with the Three of Cups, this is you um, needing to be... Re re needing to try to remain as grateful as possible. This is you being in union with yourself, but also in union with the universe. Like, you know, you know what time it is. Like, come on, you know who you are. You know what's going on here. You ha uh, what I'm hearing is you have a clear view. You have a clear vision of the circumstances from a bigger picture point of view okay do not allow yourself to slip into some sort of mindset of thinking that you're not connected or anything you very much are connected you very much are connected to the universe here all right be grateful for that don't forget about that acknowledge it okay don't close yourself off from it just because the actions of some other people 
in relation to maybe the guidance that you were given from the universe or the, the path that you knew you needed to walk, just because certain other people reacted a certain type of way in terms of that doesn't mean that you're a bad person or doesn't mean that you were trying to hurt anyone or that you were doing anything wrong. It's more of a reflection on them and where they currently are in their life rather than a reflection on you. All right? Take that as it resonates, you guys. Oof, we've got the Six of Wands and we've got the Four of Wands. This Four of Wands was peeking out from underneath the Three of Wands and I was curious as to what it was. It was catching my attention. And we also have the Six of Wands here, all right? Balance, union, harmony. I mean, things are good. Things are really good for you in your life right now. You don't have to worry about it. You are this Queen of Pentacles, all right? Or if this, and if you're like, if you're a masculine here, because um, <clears throat> I do feel like in, in talking about the Queen of Pentacles here, I do feel like I'm speaking to either a woman or someone who re represents or resonates more as the feminine energy. Um, if you are the masculine here, you have access to that Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? You just have to dig deep within don't give up all right don't give up on trying to find that connection within with that queen of pentacles with that feminine energy with that motherly energy even if especially if ooh, especially if you have some sort of issues with your own mother or matriarchal figures um don't give up okay because that, that unconditionally loving source of energy is within you. You can find it within you. And if, this, if I'm speaking to a masculine here who seems on the surface to have lost an individual that embodies that queen of pentacles energy, mm, I'm going to say you really haven't lost her as much as you think you may have. I mean, I know she may have gotten to the point or, I mean, he, he or she, it doesn't matter. We're talking about the energy. We're talking about the Queen of Pentacles energy here. This person may have gotten to the point where they've turned their back on you seemingly, where they've cut you off seemingly, but Six of Swords, yes, but I was just going to say, but it really only is that way. What I'm feeling is it really only is that way right now because you've got some energy around you that is not acceptable to her or for her. And by that, I mean that it's not the type of energy that she would allow in her life um, because of the love, the care, and the understanding that she's come to embody for herself, himself, herself, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, and also, there is a transition that's taking place. The Six of Swords just came back out and it's the same side of the card that was on the overall energy from our pre-shuffle. All right, there's a change that's happening. There's a transition that's being made. You haven't really lost her, but you have to clean up your environment before she's willing to accept you back into her life. And she's not passing judgment on you. If that's what you want, then that's what you want. That's great. By all means, please pursue that. But don't think that you can come back here and bring that toxic shit into my reality when I've worked so hard to get it out, says the Queen of Pentacles. All right? Look, there's the Nine of Wands again. Oh, look, I am talking to a masculine. Look, there's the Nine of Wands again. But in this side of the card, this is this individual having a chance to heal. And you see how this feminine figure is like coaxing him into that cave? Well, that's not a bad thing. This is not like stranger danger situation. That cave is indicative of... We could call it a birthing chamber, maybe a hyperbolic chamber, um, a healing place. And then look, the Six of Swords came out, and in this side, and in this, they're emerging back. You could say it's that man and woman, that masculine and feminine, are emerging back out of that cave after being healed, right? So this is a transitional period. This is a time for you, King of Wands, to face some things. To face elements of conformity. You see that big anaconda or that big ass snake? Well, during the day, that's that king's salamander. But at night, he turns into the snake. And the snake represents wisdom. 
Remember, the snake is the one that coaxed Eve to eat from the tree of life, which ultimately got them banished from Eden, but is ignorance really bliss? I feel like that's what a lot of you are facing right now, at least on the masculine side. You have not lost your queen of pentacles. But if you still got that fuckboy, toxic bullshit energy going on, you can get nowhere near her. She will be nowhere, she is nowhere to be found as long as that energy is still a part of your life. So you haven't really lost anything, you just gotta make a choice as to what it is you truly want, and then you've gotta follow through and do something about it. Because also, the Queen of Pentacles is not the type of energy that's going to, that's going to coddle you or baby you, at least not when she's positively aspected, not when she's balanced and healthy, no. She is not going to fight your battles for you, she is not gonna do her, your work for you. You have got to do the work. But as soon as she sees that you are doing the work and you are, you are diligent and you are committed to improving, being better, doing better, achieving better, whatnot, whatever, and this is not like, whatever. If, as, as soon as she sees that you're ready to do that and that you're putting forth the effort, she will be right by your side, 100%. Okay? Cool. 15 minutes in, and that was just the pre-shuffle. <laughs> All right, kids, one more clearing shuffle, and then we're gonna see what else we've got for the weekend. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cough, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here we go, kids. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, September 20th through Sunday, September 22nd, 2019. What is it that you would like to discuss with us today, Spirit? Or, I'm sorry, what is it that you would like to discuss with us for this weekend? Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles, but almost immediately after I asked that question, I heard, I can't remember which I heard first, but I heard change is in the air, love is in the air. I'm seeing yellow, and I'm seeing a light, a soft light pink, like this rose quartz here. Okay, I'm not sure the color is really translating there, but it's really a soft white. This actually, this rose quartz usually is pink, but in the light right now, it kind of looks white. That's how soft of a shade I'm seeing. Cleansing and clearing is coming through. Um, and I feel like, and this is just a channeling, I'm not even in the cards yet, but I feel like either, ooh, I'm gonna sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Um, Either over this period, maybe this weekend, or when, whenever, what, in, in whenever this energetic cycle, cycle hits you, um, whenever this resonates for you, there is, there are some sort of happenings, some sort of situations that go down that bring illumination for you. You could kind of maybe even see it as a tower moment. I don't know, uh, but that's the feeling that I'm getting from these, these colors, this yellow and this soft pink. It may, it may manifest as a tower moment, but understand if it does manifest as a tower moment, and by that I mean something catastrophic and maybe something even pretty um, eh, traumatizing, I guess. Trauma, traumatizing or trauma is a, is a strange word to use here because what I'm saying is even if that it manifests in that way, you have to keep in mind, you have to understand that it is with love. It's coming from a place of love, that pink energy, unconditional love. But there, are, there may be some hard truths that you need to face. There may be some tough circumstances that, that come through in order to facilitate, facilitate some sort of change to, to clear the way so that more love can come through. 
So it may seem like an oxymoron. How is something so traumatizing or catastrophic coming from a place of love? But I promise you it is. Okay. Five shuffles here. One. Two. For our weekend. For the collective. Three. Four. And five. Oh, oh, no flyers. No flyers. Okay. Here we go, kids. Best messages, please, Spirit. What would you like to discuss with us for this weekend? Here we go. Okay. My eyes are closed. They're saying. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Sorry, guys. Okay, um, I may have to stop and blow my nose for a second. But overall energy, okay. Okay, yeah. Six of wands, but with the five of wands. All right. Give me a second. I gotta pause for a second because I gotta I gotta blow my nose. <laughs> and I'm gonna spare you all the grossness. So I'm going to mute my microphone, but you have to bear with me for just a second here. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Um, well, overall energy, we have the six of wands, with, but we also have the five of wands. This is a really, this feels like a really contradictory message, or mm, it's not. It's just a contradictory energy that somebody, a group of us, the collective is in, okay? You have the six of wands, but you also have the five of wands. You also... You also have the Five of Swords, coupled or, or uh, yeah, coupled with or grouped with the Two of Cups and the Nine of Swords. We're gonna get there in a second. Because here we have the Ace of Swords with the Two of Swords in reverse. Somebody is well aware of something. This is an internal knowing. This is not something that you've communicated on the, on the, uh, in the external. Why? Because of this energy. Five of Swords, also this energy. Five of Wands. Now, the good thing, <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I said it. The good thing about this is that the five of wands is in your overall energy. So things really aren't as bad as you might think in the external. To make it even better, it's not even the side of the five of wands where it's in this deck, at least, where you have a, a volcano erupting behind these two who are squaring off. Okay. It's literally just this, maybe a different, differing of opinion, um, maybe a little bit of an ego battle, um, being on opposing sides, both of you or both sides of the equation having some sort of discrepancy that they would like to iron out or having their own perspective of what happened in the situation or during whatever, whatever it is we're talking about here, okay? It's purely differing of opinion. You can say, okay, yes, you can say it's somewhat of an ego battle, but uh, 
that's not such a bad thing here that I'm feeling, okay? So, yes, someone may have reached an understanding or reached an epiphany. Someone may have come out of a period of indecision. Someone may have come out of a period of um, denial. Someone may have been forced out of a period of denial. Either you may have worked your way out of it and really started consciously seeing things clearly, trying to see things for what they truly are, or something happened and it became glaringly obvious you couldn't deny it any longer. Either way, there's some sort of denial or indecision that has been released or is being released now. With that said, I still don't feel like this is something that's being communicated in the external. This feels like an internal situation. Okay? It feels like an internal situation. Because then we get here. To the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Swords. And this is where things get real tricky, real dicey. Okay? Because you have this partnership. Dare I say counterparts? Sure. Why not? But you see here, this is a nighttime scene, right? So... This might be a little bit of a secret. Now, with that said, what I'm feeling here, if this is a romantic situation, I do not feel like you two are in communication. I do not feel like you two are, mm, I wanted to say aware of each other's surroundings. That just came through, okay. You're not really talking to each other or at least you're not on the best of terms because of this energy, five of swords. And this is really depicted quite perfectly, at least for the situation that I'm picking up on. Because this is, this is literally a situation in which someone is holding three swords, basically has all five swords, but the person that's walking away is the person that dropped those other two swords. In technically, in terms of this situation, it feels like whoever dropped those two swords was not the most equipped, was not the most equipped to fight and win. But it's not even about that for this person that walked away from this situation. The person that walked away from this situation took the higher road here. And then the other person will say, because it just came through, so I'm gonna say it for some of you, the narcissist here, has all five of the swords, is holding three of them, but now has possession of the other two because whoever dropped, whoever walked away dropped them and said, you know what, fuck it, you can have that. If that's what you want so bad, you can fucking have it and I'm gonna fucking walk away and you're never gonna see my fucking face again. Well, that's what leads us to this, nine of swords. Because now this person that has all five of those swords is scared shitless. Why? Because they've come to the realization of who this truly is to them. They've come to the realization that they can't be in denial about this anymore. Does that mean they're gonna take action? Eventually, yes, it does, is what I just heard. And the Six of Wands is what says that. The Six of Wands is representing overcoming challenges. Now, as far as the time goes, like when is this gonna happen? I'm not telling you, neither is spirit. I mean, I'm not telling you because I don't know. Not that I refuse to tell you, but in all honesty, with what I understand about time and space, I wouldn't wanna tell you, even if I did know. Because that's just gonna put a shit ton of resistance into the situation. And we don't want, we don't want that. We don't want any more resistance in this situation, you guys, okay?
OK. Now we're going to go to the clarification section. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to decide, give, bear with me here. I'm trying to figure out how exactly how I want to do this because I feel like I want to get message. I want to go into the Golden Universal Tarot and see what spirit directly has to say about this. Um, but I'm also wanting to get a little more energy surrounding... I want to get a little more clarity on the energy surrounding this situation. So I want to, and I want to get it from this nine of swords, five of swords, two of cups. Okay. I want to get a little bit of clarity around that. And then we're going to get it. We're going to dive into what spirit has to say specifically about it. And then we're going to close the reading with Oracle guidance. So I'm going to channel the energy surrounding this. Okay. Nine of swords, five of swords, two of cups. Someone is really, really scared. Someone is very, very scared. How, I'm hearing words, how do I approach this? How do I make amends? How do I say I'm sorry? How do I do this? It's very emotional. It, it, it feels like um, verge of tears energy. And this does feel masculine because even though this individual is on the verge of tears, they're like refighting, let, they're <laughs> refighting. I was gonna say refusing. Um, they're refusing or they're refusing to let it out or they're, they're, they're fighting against letting that emotion out. There still might be an element of feeling weak in terms of showing emotion, but let me tell you something. Look, look. Let me tell you something. If you're still in that energy, masculines, and, and I'm, I'm sorry, this is gonna sound really harsh, like the tone in my voice is not cute right now, but if you're still in that energy of not showing emotion because you think it's weak, you're fucking lying to yourself. You have got to get over that. I'm serious. You, you got to get over that. One more shuffle, and we're gonna, whew, I just got really warm. <laughs> All right, let's see, what is this? Let's get some clarity on this energy here. Mm. I'm gonna stop there. Okay, all right, okay. We have the Six of Swords, that's a good thing. We also have the King of Swords. Oh shit, the Queen of Swords. Oh my God, the Two of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Y'all, oh my God. Guys, you two know exactly who you are to each other. You know exactly who you are to each other. King and queen of swords. But see, both of you are in this energy. The feminine absolutely is in an energy of stay the fuck away from me if that's what you're going to bring forward. And the king of swords is like, I'm doing what I have to do. And the queen of swords is like, fuck you. No, you're not. In this scenario, the queen of swords wins. Because the Queen of Swords is saying that she is not going to accept anything less than integrity and honesty and truthfulness. The King of Swords kind of feels like a pushover here because he is too focused on pleasing others. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting from this. Like the, the, the diplomacy in the King of Swords energy is kind of a detriment at this point. Or at least it has been. Okay, maybe that's a past energy I'm picking up on because it could be that now at this point, both counterparts are in this Swords energy. And it could be, 
It could be that the masculine is in a place where he's working towards truth, clarity, honesty, working towards, oh God. But then you have this, the four of pentacles with the king of wands, which is saying to me that pride and ego is keeping someone from letting go of something physical. Could be money, it could be career, it could be status. I heard status specifically. Pride and ego is standing in the way of this. Oh, I get it. It could be for some of you that this, the king here or the masculine here, desires, is trying to get to, wants to be in this king of swords energy. And yet he's stuck in the king of wands, which is ego, narcissism, selfishness. Material, it can be, it can be, a, it does kind of feel like materialism in a sense, because especially with this four of pentacles here, but there's a, it's pride and ego that's keeping someone, either is keeping one, someone from moving on or letting go, or has been keeping someone from letting go. And yet with the six of swords energy here, you have a healing, a cleansing. Hmm. King and Queen of Swords with the Two of Cups. I mean, come on. I want to get more clarification before I move forward to what Spirit has to say. Am I using this? Am I using the same? Yes. Okay. I want to get, I just want to, uh, uh, let's get some more. Just a little more clarification, please, on this on this energy here between the two of you, like, what is, pride in, I was just, I was, I was just asking, it's like, okay, what is standing in the way? Pride and ego. King of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Pride and ego is standing in the way. But I do wanna get a little more clarity here. Like, where is this going? Jeez. We have the seven of pentacles, the five of cups, the four of swords, justice, the nine of wands, <laughs> again, temperance, and the hierophant. All right. Okay. So what's happening here is we have a period of, of coming to terms with the heartbreak. And that's for both sides of the equation. Now the feminine has been doing that. Masculine, you're, you're like actively slipping, sliding, sinking into this space right now. Four of swords being rest, meditation, working on seeing something differently. Five of cups, you're looking at the heartbreak now. For some of you, you actively are facing your emotions and that is a very good thing. We have another energy here of not giving up, perseverance, because justice is being served here. Balance is being brought into the situation, temperance. You also have the Hierophant. And what I'm getting with this is what is happening, what, what these energies are here is learning. It's like this Hierophant energy is here. It keeps coming up. It keeps showing itself so that we can learn to bring balance into our lives. And it's not an easy lesson to learn. It wasn't designed to be. It wasn't designed to be nice. It wasn't designed to be easy. It wasn't designed to be all lovey-dovey. We had to face these elements of conformity so that we could learn how to be individuals, so that we could learn how to be independent. So we can learn about the contrast of what it feels like to have to be forced to be something that you're not 
so that you could find the value in being who you truly are bringing you into greater balance, temperance. Also, temperance is talking about patience. Don't give up. I know, we know, says spirit, these energies are not easy, but they're not designed to be easy, guys. All right, so with that said, Seven of Pentacles also is talking about learning through the contrast. With that said, now I wanna get Spirit's direct messages here using the Golden Universal Tarot. So what does Spirit have to say about this? What does Spirit want to say to us in terms of these energies, in terms of what this is? There is also an element of bringing in the balance of masculine and feminine energy, all right? Because the Hierophant does represent, can represent masculine energy, whereas the High Priestess would be the counterpart to that. The High Priestess hasn't come out here, but the King and the Queen of Swords did. And I'm just getting a sense of, yeah, the patriarchy with the Hierophant. Ooh, ooh, no flyers, please. I'm just gonna get the message. Uh, the patriarchy having, uh, I don't know, the, the learning through the contrast. I mean, I, I think you guys get it. I don't know. I don't, I suddenly don't even want to for, form the words to finish that statement. I think you guys understand what I'm saying. One last shuffle, and then we'll see what spirit has to say about all this. What does spirit want to tell us in terms of these energies? say about this there's more all right i'm gonna looks like two have fallen out so far but there's more they're saying oh look at that there's that five of pentacles unworthiness is there more that's enough unworthiness see this is the only card that spirit threw out here that fell out face up so this is what we want this is what spirit wants to bring to our awareness first and foremost your feelings or our feelings of inadequacy. Like we're not good enough. Like we're not strong enough. Like we're inadequate in some way. But you see, that's kind of the energy that the Hierophant has been cultivating here. Why? So that they can control. Conformity is designed to control. Not to liberate, to control. And if we can strip you of your self-worth, then we can control you. Overall energy is standby. Overall energy is none other than the Hierophant. Okay. What else do we have here? Ooh, the Six of Swords again. Yes, with the Ten of Pentacles, but also the Seven of Swords. I don't know if I like that spirit. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. But what they're saying is, What they're saying is that they're, 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 this is the end. We are coming to the end of this deceptive nature. And it's not an end, uh, uh, oh well, okay, let me say that differently. This, we're coming to the end of the deception. Now that does not mean, that does not mean that it's ending all over, overall. Like it's still going to be around in the world, but this is an ending of accepting it in your life of having it in your reality. The end. This is having learned that lesson. This is literally, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The Ten of Pentacles, in my opinion, as a reader, has come to mean um, the closing out of cycles or like the closing out of, of lessons in the 3D. Tens are a number of 
completion, right? So with this being pentacles, to me, and coupled with the, the, the energies of completion, this can be the completion of a lesson in life that you can now move forward from and start your next lesson. You can see it as um, completing a course, completing a semester, completing a year, and moving on to the next semester, or um, going from, eh, no, I was gonna say going from like, I don't know, freshman to sophomore, or sophomore to junior year, but this is more of a semester type situation. The, 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 the bigger overarching cycles, like say if we had the world here, that could be seen as like graduating from, from uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter, freshman, sophomore, sophomore, junior, junior, senior, whatever. That kind of energy. But this is, these are the, the, the smaller cycles, right? But you've learned that lesson here. Or, or you're in the process of learning it, process of closing these things out. You're starting to see the deception, the deceptive nature in all of this conformity. Good gosh, you guys, <laughs> you guys, look at what's underneath the six of wands. It's the four of wands again. This is all a good thing. I promise this is all a good thing. And it does kind of feel like with this king and queen of swords energy here underneath the, with the two of cups, it's underneath all this mess. It does kind of feel like that these counterparts are starting to line up. Vibrationally, like mentally, thought wise. You guys are starting to line up here. You're starting to, you may not have the same opinion about things. You may not go about things in the same way, but you definitely complement each other, king and queen of swords. You definitely complement each other in some way, and it's not like you have to be the exact same person. No. You be you. Be an individual. Be the individual that you are, naturally. There is a union that's happening. There is a union that's starting. There is a union that's coming together. I mean, there is victory here. Even though there's a, still a lot of troubling energy, <laughs> that's quite obvious, okay? There is victory here. Six of wands, four of wands, which adds up to what? A 10. Huh. Completion, maybe? Mm hmm Okay. We're moving on. We are moving on, kids. Six of Swords. We are moving on. I just heard it's time for some good to enter our lives. It's not like there hasn't been any good in our lives, but it's time for the true good, the real good that you really want, that you're really looking for, that you've wanted all along, the, the, the real goodness that you know that you deserve is coming, but that is not going to come until you decide to be authentic. Your truth, your real good, the real good that you know that you deserve, that you're entitled to, is not going to come to you, is not going to find you if you are being anything less than authentic. Because that good is meant for to, to, to flow with your authenticity. Doesn't mean you can't manifest good things being less than authentic, but it's not really gonna be the good that you want. It's going to be unfulfilling. It's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to leave you feel, feeling jaded. It's going to leave, leave you feeling gypped. It's gonna leave you feeling slighted. It's going to leave you feeling deceived. It's going to leave you feeling baited and switched. It's gonna leave you feeling like you were sold gold-plated nickel, <laughs> like Betsy said in her daily reading yesterday. Seven of sorts. This is that bait and switch energy. This is that getting away with something. This is that pulling the wool over your, over your eyes. Pull, this is that 
wolf in sheep's clothing, and by that I mean the wolf that is looking to kill, hurt, destroy, maim, eat, consume. Not the wolf that's being an individual and trying to wake people up for being sheep. Well, no, we're talking about that vicious, evil, conniving wolf. And masculines, this is, this is a specific message for you. You got to get out of that. You have to. If you really want to be happy, if you really want all the stuff that you're trying to manifest that you know that you deserve, you got to get out of that conformity and you got to start being who you truly are. You got to get in touch with your emotions. You got to start learning about that. I know it's difficult, but your emotions are necessary. They are your compass. They are what tells you that you're moving in the right direction, that you're moving towards what it is you desire, that you're moving towards all the things that you've put in your vortex, all the things that you may not even be aware that you've put in your vortex. Your emotions are your key. But if you're deadening them, if you're smoking them away or drinking them away or anything like that, then what? Okay, I'm gonna get off my soapbox <laughs> and I'm gonna get our closing message because we're already almost an hour into this, so. All right, closing message. It's really, like it's really warm in here. I'm kind of starting to sweat. <laughs> Woo, okay, here we go. Closing message, please, Spirit for our weekend edition, for our weekend edition. Nope, I'm just gonna let it fall out. There it is, wow. More green, kids. We got two cards and I'm gonna take both of them. More green, we have card number 15, Archangel Raphael and Malachite. Grace for the grand gesture and we have card number 42, Goddess Hecate and Mika, Crossroad of Destiny. Okay, let's start with card 15 first. You get back up there, Guma. Okay, Grace for the Grand Gesture. We bring you the gift of grace for the grand gesture. Although there are times when even the smallest act, such as choosing to think a positive thought, is enough to transform your world, there also comes a time for the leap of faith, the grand gesture of unconditional trust that will free you from the past and empower the universe to gift you with a new future. The grand gesture is a big step, the willingness to say to the universe, I trust you and I know it's time for life as I have known it to give way for a bigger, bolder experience and I am willing to allow you to lead me into it. You then make an effort which confirms your declaration and empowers the universe to reward the faith you have demonstrated. The grand gesture cannot be forced. If it comes from a place of, quote, should or uncertainty, then you are not ready. The grand gesture must be unconditional. It must be something you offer, not for what you can get in return, although the rewards will be rich, but because you are willing to offer something of yourself in service to love. When it comes from this place, the grand gesture is a trigger for a divine grace to, ex for, excuse me, is a trigger for divine grace to express your, itself in your life in an entirely new way, surpassing all expectations and showering you with blessings. Beautiful. And then finally, we have card number 42, Crossroad of Destiny. Oh boy, you know what I just realized? Both of these are six energies. One and five equals six, four and two equals six. We got the six of wands. We've got the six of swords a number of times. Did we get the six of, we didn't get the six of pentacles, six of wands, six of swords. Didn't get the Six of Cups. Didn't get the Six of Pentacles. Okay, but we did get the Six of Wands and we got the Six of Swords 
at least twice. Three times even, because it came out in the pre-shuffle. There it is, guys. Sixes. Six is a number of harmony, is a number of joy, is a number of healing, um, forgiveness even, it, it, uh, harmony within the love and family sector. Six is a very healing number. <sighs> Beautiful. All right. Crossroad of destiny. We bring you the empowerment of the crossroad of destiny. You are at a pivotal point on your life journey. This may be obvious to you with a potentially life-changing decision before you, or you may not realize the impact that an apparently insignificant choice is going to have on your future. Either way, you are at a point where you can leave the past behind and chart your course for a new adventurous chapter to begin in your life. Six of Swords. Leaving the past behind. Either, oh, 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 okay. This is not something you need to be frightened of. It is a sign you are progressing on your path. The crossroad of destiny happens when you have mastered a cycle in your life and a new cycle is before you. It is an opportunity that you can take best advantage of by listening to your heart. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, but with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.